Hey guys! So today, me and Heyoon are going to be revisiting one of our favorite Night United Show episodes. But this is not just going to be a reaction video. We are going to be telling some fun and never before heard stories about what happened off camera. So let's get into it. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yes, me same. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Welcome to the wilderness, guys. The wilderness oh of Beverly Hills. And today, this tree is right outside the XIX office <laughs> by nature. And I thought it's a good idea to go on an adventure. There's this place here. I don't know why I always feel like when we're in nature or doing an adventure of some kind, I have to do an Australian accent. It's just like the, the crocodile hunter in me, I guess. <laughs> Steve Irwin, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I don't know, that's just, I don't know why that happened. There's this place here in California called Joshua Tree National Park. And it would only make sense for Joshua to go to Joshua Tree. And I thought that was a good idea. So let's go tell the girls. I think Sina will be very excited. I think Hina's gonna be a little bit stressed out. Heyoon might be up for the challenge and the adventure, but Still stressed out. I nailed that on the head. All three of those. Sino was excited. <laughs> Kino was stressed out. And Ayun was like on the fence. Should we tell the girls? Yeah, we should tell the girls. Let's do it. Girls! Ladies! It's spontaneous, adventurous, and awesome if you guys are up for it. It's everything. What is it? Keep do you you want to go camping? We like to go, we want to go to Joshua Tree. Yep. It's kind of like a little, it's a little road trip. Joshua the Joshua Tree. Okay, why did I say that? <laughs> Ooh. I can feel my English getting better and better every every day with Night Nighted. I feel like even this video that I'm talking in right now, after five years, I'll be like, why was my English so bad? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's make a camping list. Let's talk right? about this. Pause. Um, hey, Yoon, if you ever see a Night Nighted show episode um, and there's like writing involved and we're making a list or something, Heyoon will always be writing it. Always. Her writing is the best out of everyone's. And it's so pretty. Um, and we're all stressed out about our... We're kind of insecure about our writing. So <laughs> Heyoon will always be writing. It's so funny. Like okay. So I bring the guitar. <laughs> we should play in Boba. Yes! Boba! Ew, no pickles! <laughs> Who put pickles? Uh, this is my Bruce. Bruce! Bruce. Where is Bruce? I'm, I don't think Josh is keeping Bruce. Bruce is still in XIX office on Sunset Boulevard. Because I couldn't take it home. It's too big. Alright, so we are going to go shopping right now. We're going to get everything on this list. You ready, guys? Yes. Let's get it. Let's, do it. Let's go. So far, so great. We're happy. Having no idea what's about to happen to us. I have some sad news. Joshua Tree, we got some warnings this morning on the weather report that it's so windy, it's super dangerous. Oh. Oh. So we're gonna go to a different place. It's gonna be super fun anyways. It's called uh, Buckhorn. Let's go! <laughs> Are you ready, Bruce? Okay, so one thing I see a lot of you guys keep on wondering, why is Heyoon, why me? Why am I on the passenger seat every single time when we drive somewhere? like in photos and videos and it's because motion sickness guys <laughs> nothing special some people were like oh my god Hayden just loves that seat and yes I do love that seat but it's more of the motion sickness yeah <laughs> the demo for Crazy Stupid Silly Love and I remember I just got it and I played it in the car and everybody just was going crazy because we heard it once before and we all loved it and then I played it in the car and everybody was like oh my god this song is actually so good because you know when you play songs in a car it's just so much better we were singing and dancing for three hours straight life of, life of the night night and member Oh no, there we go, sleeping. <laughs> also live on the night that I remember. Oh. All right, it's minute 50. It was not minute 50. In the pit stop. <laughs> Would you like a tree? Or a bush? <laughs> or spaghetti? Or a confetti? The spaghetti confetti tree. 
I used to do that in like grade one, kindergarten. I used to do that with all the little wheat things I found everywhere. It was just a thing everybody did in, in Canada. I don't know if it was just my school or all of Canada. I don't know. But it was like a little nursery rhyme kind of thing. <laughs> so we got a little bit lost, but now we found some snow, so that's cool. We found snow! We actually found Tahin in the snow. That's not like placed at all. And Sabina loves Tahin. It's hilarious. Oh. Yep, Josh on the tree. There we go again. He just has to climb any kind of tree or I don't know, whatever high up it is, he has to go up there. We're here, baby! So, so I got all we need to create fire. I got some pine cones. About me, a little fact about me. I loved and still love playing computer games. I'm such a game nerd and I think this is one of the most things that people don't expect from me. I am obsessed with computer games. And one thing I learned on a game called Don't Starve, <laughs> it's a computer game, that pine cones are gonna burn out so much faster than small little sticks. Even the small wood sticks last longer than a big pine cone because in the game it does <laughs> so I knew in reality I needed to pick up some like actual big woods woods <laughs> they came out really bad so it is currently 6.55 out here in the wilderness and we just had a great meal with some good wieners some good hot dogs some good doggy dogs and we are now gonna go watch the sunset Every time there's a sunset that can be seen, Noah will find a way to watch it. Because like sometimes in the middle of rehearsal, he'll just run out and like go look at the sunset for a while. Or when we're driving, he's like, yo, take my phone, take my phone, take a picture. He loves the sunset more than anything. All right, so me and Josh, we have a little eel plan. We're gonna prank the ladies by saying that we met with a park ranger and he told us that there are a ton of rattlesnakes. Cena is terrified of rattlesnakes. Any snakes in general. We're gonna prank them by saying that we saw a rattlesnake and they're gonna be like, what, what, no. And then they're gonna go to sleep at night and we're gonna stay up and we're gonna go in their ear by their bed. Me and Josh, we met like a park ranger dude and he gave us like these signs. So it says, Mountain lions sightings. Those signs are so stupid. Why would a park ranger give us signs? <laughs> I mean, it works, I guess. Bunch of ticks. This looks so fake now that I see it. Next one says, a venomous snakes what? may be in the area. Sina and Hina was genuinely scared the whole time of snakes and like bears. Well, Hina, are you scared because of the animals? Yeah. <laughs> what animal? Snakes. I was always growing up as a kid mesmerized by spiders, snakes, all this. Um, what are they called? Hey Siri. Oh no. Hey Google. Hey Google. What is pachungu in English? Do you think Google can do that? Hey, means breast in Spanish. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> okay. Google is having a hard time, so I'm just gonna, you know what I mean, right? Like all the snakes, like reptiles, like, is reptiles? Reptiles is the word I was looking for, I think, but anyway. I'm so scared of snakes, and I'm scared of lions. A lion, really? I would run away and run scream. Away. Oh, sorry. Um, if we don't put the food away, the bear is gonna come in. Like the break food? into our, yeah, oh, the sure. bears come into our tent and break in. <laughs> She's terrified. So we have to be careful. So we have to get rid of all the food. So we just showed the girls the signs that we made and brought up here. And honestly, they are so scared. And it's amazing. I cannot wait to see this them prank later. is going very well. Okay, this is not in the show. And I think <laughs> we were freaked out. We were freaked out already when we got there because this is a big campsite, and it was just us and this one guy. And it was super freaky. Just one guy alone, camping. And we were so creeped out about that the whole time. That's the thing that scared us the most out of anything. 
was just this one dude who was just camping there alone. We're like five kids, what are we gonna do <laughs> if something happens? And then one like really scary looking guy. I'm getting scared. What if he hears us? Thank God no one brought his guitar. Alright, Josh, time to rap in Canadian. Canadian! Alright. Oh, bud. Okay. So we are out here in the jungle. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a forest. What am I saying? I think we're gonna need a stick. What am I saying? A stick is very sharp because we're in the forest. <laughs> There's snakes and lions. What is this accent? Because we're playing puck out on the ice in a big ODR because no. we're. That is not a Canadian Outside. accent. I don't know what I was it's doing. ODR by the <laughs> oh, a bud. Okay. Oh, a bud. Nosh handshake. Five, six, seven, eight. This handshake is iconic. Good night. Literally, we were blowing away. It was like a tornado. The the wind was absolutely insane. We didn't sleep. Good Two minutes that whole night. Are we still here? It was. There was a tornado, I think. Are we still at the same place? This was a very st stressful environment and situation. <laughs> I think Hina cried a little bit. I cried a little bit on the way back. So me and Josh didn't get much sleep. But the whole night, no one slept. We were all just soft. I just want to go home. I know I seem like super dramatic right now, but I'm so tired. We were going to go do so many things on this camping trip. And when we woke up, we were going to like make breakfast. We were going to... Do a so do so many so many things that we had planned, and we woke up and we were just like, uh, uh no one even said anything. We were just like, we're packing up, like it's it's done. See me falling. This is not. This is actual real situation. This is a real situation. I did not fell for the camera. Fall for the camera. That's how strong the wind was, actually. <laughs> Thank you for following us for our wilderness adventure. Thank you. you. Bye. Don't forget to like, subscribe. <laughs> you look so dead right now. Bye. 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 <laughs> All right, this is the end of our crazy adventure. It was super fun, but also very crazy. After that, we just went straight to eat breakfast because we hadn't eaten and we hadn't slept all night. <laughs> We went straight to eating breakfast and we had to roll down all the hills to get back in neutral because we were out of gas. But we found no snakes and the guy didn't attack us. So yeah, that was Let's Go Camping in a Tornado. Season two, episode eight of the Now United Show. A uh, little behind the scenes. Hope you liked it. Peace. Gang, we love you. Bye. Bye.